Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to share some fantastic, fantastic information about stress. Um, yesterday I had just briefly mentioned, just briefly mentioned that I was going to be talking about stress and going into very specific things on stress, what to do about it, how to target it, um, different things that you can keep in mind, how it affects your weight loss, how it affects your overall results, health, everything. So talking about stress, there's a few very important key points. So if I go over something and you are wondering if it applies to you, if you are curious about what to do about it, if you're like, holy crap, that is me, <gasps> comment below, message me, and then most importantly, share this video because so many people have stress right now and are going to be encountering stress in the next few weeks. That's just going to happen. So the more you can do to help people be their healthiest and feel better, people are just going to be nicer. I came to this conclusion yesterday. Some people are not nice because they don't feel good or because they're stressed out or because they don't know what to do with that. So help people out, help them feel better and they'll be less stressed and they're going to be nicer. Okay, everybody likes it when everybody's nice, right? Okay, information on stress, how that impacts women, weight loss, health, everything. Overall stress, the, the, a few things about stress that are uh, important to understand, there's different sources of stress. You can have physical stress, chemical stress, emotional stress. Did I spell that right? Yeah, emotional stress. Um, and so stress doesn't come from just one source, Physical stress from like lifting heavy things, being in a bad posture position that causes a lot of stress on your frame, having um, you know some type of physical illness that's going to be very stressful on your body, standing for long periods of time, sitting pro for long periods of time, you know anything that causes physical strain on your structure is you know physical stress. Chemical stress are things that happen internally, so things that you eat or come in contact with or um, chemicals in the environment, you know, you know, pollution, dust even, um, though that would be a chemical stress. And then emotional stress is going to be obviously your feelings and everything else. And the interesting thing about all of these things is that even though they're very different sources, they all set off this cascade of response and reaction in your body. It's amazing. So your body will respond very similarly to these same outside outside or inside factors but you increase your cortisol and it has a very damaging negative effect on your body when it goes on too long. Two different kinds of stress too is acute stress versus chronic stress. Acute stress such as a short term, very short lived, oh I'm stressed out, now I'm better. Chronic stress lasts a long time. So it's basically acute stress that just comes over and over and over and over and something else happens and then something else happens and then you can't stop the stress cycle. That's what a chronic stress is. So a lot of people realize, that's me. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I have chronic stress. How do I make it stop? Okay. A few things to keep in mind, depending on how long you've had the chronic stress. If you've had it for a while, if you're thinking, oh my gosh, one of my good friends or family member died three years ago. And since then I've felt stressed pretty consistently. Then it's three years that you've had that chronic stress. No joke. So really important to recognize and realize how much your body has been under stress and how that's damaging on your organs, on your system, your metabolism, your immune system, everything. It can take at least three to six months minimum of doing some of these things to help turn that around. So I wanted to, because sometimes when we talk about stress, people are like, oh my God, I'm stressed out just hearing this. Ah. Okay, so here's a few things to keep in mind that are key points. Some differences between men and women as well. And then I'll talk about why stress makes it so hard for you to lose weight. So also, as I go through these things, this is just the tip of the iceberg of the information that I have in my six-week jumpstart group for January. So if this is something where you're like, oh my God, this is me, I really need help, I want to get this under control, the six-week group is going to be perfect for you. Everything is laid out, meal plans, grocery lists, all this stuff, so much content that I'll be releasing exclusively in that group. So please comment, message, or click on the link, I'll attach it at the end here. Um, where you can get all this information and be able to really, really change your life, your physiology, everything else. It's amazing. <laughs> Chronic stress, Meredith, yes. 
Um, okay, so it can take three to six months minimum to really work on these things. But one thing to really pay attention to, especially for women, is that women respond and react differently to stress than men do in that um, how much connection that they need. When men are stressed out, they actually respond and recover better when they are alone. I don't want to say isolated, but they just kind of, okay, I'm going to go off by myself and I'm going to have some alone time to kind of take it down and de-stress on my own. That's men. Women respond best when they have that connection. So it's either calling a friend, being around another person. Sometimes it's just as simple as somebody sitting with you and putting their hand on your shoulder. That type of connection is what decreases stress in women very, very rapidly and effectively. For if women are isolated, it actually increases and compounds the stress reaction and response in the body. So if you are noticing that you are having stress, especially if it's chronic stress, you're going to need to set yourself on a, on a schedule or recognize, hey, I need to have connection with people. However it is that you can fit that into your lifestyle schedule without making you more stressed, right? But that you can bring that in and say, okay, I'm going to connect with people because that's going to help me feel less stressed. Now, another key thing here for ladies is that if you are connecting with people and you're like, oh my God, that didn't really help with my stress, mm -mm, then, then, then maybe that's not a person that you go to for your connection. Maybe, maybe pick somebody else. Just a thought, but very key thing, connect with people, however that is, to decrease stress. Now there's other things, of course, too. Um, relaxation, laughter, all these other things are great. Um, Self-care, very, very important. Uh, so this is gonna be exercise, nutrition, massage, chiropractic, all these other things that are gonna be key in terms of getting rid of that chronic stress, especially for women because our physiology takes so long to turn around because of your hormones. It just takes a longer time, so you're going to need to attack it from all these different angles. Just kind of doing one path isn't necessarily going to cut it. Um, I take a minute out by connecting and beating people up. <laughs> Hopefully, um, you know, like in a gym or training people or something. That's good. Yes, yes. Connection is key. Yes, absolutely. Um, so, And then self-care. Oftentimes, you can combine these two. So get a friend, connect with them, go to a, a class together. Um, or cook together or um, meal prep together. That's really fun. I don't know if you've never tried that, you know, nutritionally, you can, you know, get together with a friend, talk and like prep some meals or make crock pot meals, things like that. Adaptogens are very, very key. These are herbs um, that really help decrease the stress response in the body. So specifically things like ashwagandha, um, uh, wolfberry, uh, Bacopa is really good for mental stamina, memory, nervous system. You know, these are a few things. If you have questions on this, please let me know because they're phenomenal in terms of reducing the stress reaction in the body. Um, and then there's other things like oils. I put oils like essential oils on here that can help. Lavender can help relax you. Um, breathing techniques and then cleansing. So breathing techniques, this would be some meditation, uh, things like that. Again, I'm not going to get into all these in detail <clears throat> just because I don't want to be on here forever. <laughs> Although I could, I could just talk all day. Um, but the cleansing thing, I'm going to, I'm going to touch on that here very briefly and why it is that people gain weight and have such a hard time losing weight when they have this stress. And especially we are specifically talking about this chronic stress here. All right. And remember it takes three to six months for this to turn around. So this isn't something that's going to change, you know, in a week or two or something like that. And that's, I think, another thing that women um, sort of, I, I want to say, set yourself up for failure in terms of, oh, I'm stressed out. I'm going to do this one thing. I, I got a massage. I got a pedicure. I hung out with my friend. I should be, I should have no stress. That's not how it works. <laughs> that's not how it works at all. You're going to need to consistently attack the cortisol because it runs rampant in your body and you got to get rid of it. <clears throat> so here's a few things about how this is affecting your body, your physiology, your chemistry, and why it can be super difficult to lose weight and keep it off. Um, is it important to know whether your stress is acute or chronic? Yes, it is. So acute is a short-term stress, like you're driving and you slam on your brakes, and to avoid an accident, you can get out of that very quickly and kind of calm down, relax, and you notice that. I mean, initially your heart will beat faster, your breathing will increase, all that stuff, but your body can calm down from that. Pretty much every other animal on the planet can calm down naturally from acute stress. Humans, uh, the fantastic beings that we are, have this ability to continue to be stressed out by our thoughts from past, present, or future, 
and that will cause the same cascade of cortisol and negative response in the body, but just thinking about it. So essentially worry is a big part in chronic stress. So if you're a worrier, you know, think about how much chronic stress that you've got in your body. <clears throat> so that also, okay, so playing a role in your weight loss and why it's so hard to lose weight. When you have a lot of cortisol in the body, um, oh wow, I'm not left-handed. There we go, cortisol. Did that work out? Okay. Um, <laughs> cortisol is, going, is the hormone that's released. It's primarily a re released from your adrenal glands, which are on top of your kidneys. So if you've heard the word like adrenal failure, this is where you have been under chronic stress for a really long time. And essentially, your adrenals just kind of crap out. They pump out so much cortisol, they get worn out, tired, and they say, poop on this, and I'm done, right? And so your adrenals aren't able to release then appropriate amounts of cortisol when you need it, and then to stop releasing it when you don't need it. That's the thing where adrenal fatigue comes in. So when cortisol gets released in the body and it's running rampant everywhere, one other fun thing that cortisol will do is take the protein that you eat and it will turn it into sugar and store it. So fat cells that are normally thin and flat little guys like this, like little flat pancakes or deflated balloons, when there's a lot of cortisol present, it blows them up into big cells like this, stores a lot of that excess sugar, and then some of that cortisol stuff gets tagged inside and it gets locked in there. So now kind of no matter what you do, if you exercise, eat well, all this stuff, try and de-stress, you're not going to be able to release the, no, this is essentially energy. It's just stored sugars, the gly, um, glucose that's in here. So when you, to get your fat cell to go back to this flat pancake, it has to release and use this energy. It's not able to do that when there's all this cortisol junk in there. I'm trying to be very PG this morning on my video. I don't know if you noticed that. I'm, work, I'm working on it. Okay. So when this cortisol is locked inside, it's not going to let any of this energy be used. So it will continue to pump out other cortisol and, and tax your adrenals more and really slow down your metabolism. All these other things will happen. All these other systems in your body will be negatively affected because your body's not going to naturally target this cortisol. How do you do that? You go through a fasting cleanse. A fasting cleanse will target this, will focus on it because this is held in your visceral fat, which is around your internal organs, your abdomen, everything else. And it will target this and it will say, hey guys, we're going to use this energy. Here, come on out. I need you. Come on. It's okay. We can do that. Yay. And then this cortisol stuff is going to come out too and say, oh, I don't need you anymore. See you later. Oh, you too. You too. You go along. Oh, you're his buddy? Yeah, come on too. There you go. We don't need you. See you later. Once all this stuff is released from the inside of the cell, that's when it can return to this. You're not going to get rid of the cell. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't disappear but it really does shrink back down. Now, once this is released, you, your body can flush it out, your kidneys, your liver, everything else gets rid of it. And then you are really moving forward in terms of de-stressing your body. So when we talk about this chronic stress, which a lot of people have, this is a process of at least three to six months of doing this on the regular to get the right result. So if you're doing this for, oh, a 21 day cleanse or blah, 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 not that it's not beneficial to change your health in some way, fashion, or form, or to do something healthy. And even if it's for a short period of time, something is better than nothing, right? Something is better than nothing. But if you're looking for a completely different result or to really change your chemistry internally, it's got to be done for a longer period of time. Anything less is doing you a disservice. Why? Because it's not allowing that change to happen hormonally. Cortisol is a hormone, especially in women. Hormones shift and change slower than they do in men. Results happen at a different timeline because our body's physiology and chemistry is different. Now, the other thing too, though, to keep in mind is that if you're doing things correctly and you are increasing your metabolism, working with your immune system, really targeting the right things, targeting a cleanse to get rid of this cortisol, you're not only going to get a great result, I mean, in this, in a time frame, but you're going to feel better, have more energy, have more stamina, all these other wonderful things. And it's gonna be a lasting result, not something that you're gonna to have to worry about as much. For example, if something else, you know, another, I don't wanna you know, say tragedy, but um, <clears throat> a big stress event happens in your life, 
lose a job or, you know, some a fire or, so, you know, I'm making stuff up right now, but something major happens, your body's going to have a way better response to it because it's not going to have all this locked in crap taking you down. It's, it's all about the cortisol and getting rid of it. So that's one of the biggest things I think women have a hard time losing weight with the stress or their body goes through a traumatic event. And this can be as even having a baby. That's very stressful on the body. And you're thinking, well, it was a blessed event. Yeah, super. Yep. Mm -hmm. I have three kids. Yes. Yeah. And that is very traumatic. Like getting another human out of your body. Yeah. Physical stress. So you're going to have some of this process happen from having kids or other, you know, life factors. So understand that it takes time. Your body can heal. It is designed to do this. But I, I will be talking more specifically about how to target this, specifically how to go through and do this um, to, you know, tomorrow and, and in a few, the next few days because this is such a big factor for women and for people to understand. So, whew, so much information today. If you guys have questions, again, please let me know. Message me. Um, comment below. I would love to answer your questions. If you're interested in our 12-week jumpstart, again, we are going to be capping out with a rate of people that are jumping on board, which I'm so excited about. It's going to be amazing. But if you're interested, please let me know because if you want in, we got to get you in before we cap out at our, um, our capacity because, and we, and I do have a capacity. Some people are like, well, why do you have a capacity? I have a capacity because the people that really want to be involved, I'm going to be giving them so much time, attention and content to make sure that you're understanding it and being able to implement these changes in your life, that it's got to be successful. I'd rather, you know, have work with fewer people and have them be uber successful than just say splash everything out everywhere and say, well, good luck. Right. So, okay. So anyway, so there's that share the video comment on, let me know about the six week. Stay tuned for tomorrow because we're going to be going through even more exciting stuff. And I'm going to be just so you know, I mean, I share my videos with my, you know, I have like a professional page, my Dr. Beth Westy page. Um, I do share my videos on that page. If you um, are not connected on that page like that, so you can get notified when those go live because I'll be switching over and doing my live videos from that page too. Um, I know with some of the things that how they shift and change, it goes better, I think, if I do it from that page. So anyway, everybody have a great day. Hopefully this is good information about stress for you and it doesn't stress you out more. And uh, if you have any questions, please, please, please let me know. And Spot's here. Come here, puppy. Come here, puppy. You're such a good boy. Oh, such a good boy. Yeah, she's been waiting. You've been, he's been carrying around a peanut butter jar this morning. He's licked it clean. You know, it was mostly empty. But he's been waiting for me to give him love when I was done. Yes. Oh, such a good boy. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, say bye, Spot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, back out of my mouth. <laughs> All right. Everybody have a great day.